ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Westeros Total War, King Rivers and Hills Submod, the last part of the House Storm King's playthrough. Uh, this is just a little recap thing, showing you guys uh, how I'm ending this. I didn't feel like I wanted, I wanted, didn't want to leave it on like a cliffhanger like I usually do, just kind of make an episode of the story. I wanted to show you guys what I've done. Right, I have married off one of my princesses to the Prince of Dawn. Uh, if you wonder about this, I'll tell you about that in a minute. The other two princesses are currently still available, you know. I'll comment, I'll give you the phone numbers. What not. Uh, this here, Ramsey, this is Ramsey Stark. This person belongs to one of the major houses in Westeros. The Starks take up the sea in the province of Westeros, uh, Winterfell in the north. What I did here, which I will toggle Fog of War for a second to show you guys what's going on. Is I moved up the prince along with a bunch of I've secured the uh, main lines and everything. There's one unit missing in that, but still, I moved the prince and everything up here. Uh, as Greyjoy had, uh, not Greyjoy, sorry, Ironborn had pretty much control of Deepwood Moat, Torrent Square, Reels and Barrowtown, and Fencefinger. So I took out all of that. Uh, by the end of it, I pretty much controlled most of the north. The Boltons controlled all of this side of the north. Last half, the Dreadfort, Carhold, Blitzfinkers, Ramgate, everything up to uh, White Harbor. And House Stark pretty much only controlled Winterfell. So, what I did was, I came up, I took out all of the uh, Ironborn towns, took them for myself. I then... Yeah, I then took out, I can't remember what order I did it in specifically, I took out what was left of House Bolton, and then the only place left was Winterfell. So, I had an ingenious idea to keep these Starks in line, I thought to myself, I'm going to bribe one of their, one of their, their prince, like one of their faction leaders, one of their sons. So, Ramsay Stark is one of the last Starks that was in the north, so I, I bribed him, and now he's married to my the prince's daughter. So that ensures their allegiance. What I then did, because I controlled pretty much all the north and I was overwhelming this house Stark forces, I could have easily crushed them, I made them my vassals. So House Stark is now the vassal of the Storm Kings. After they became my vassals and after the marriage alliance was secure, I then offered them to control of all the north. I gave them all their regions, pulled my men back and used my men to secure the borders down the south by the neck. Yes. I'm hoping to marry her to a king in the north or a prince of Winterfell at some point, just to secure my uh, allegiances even more. But the north is secured by vassalage and by marriage. Uh, the Stark, the Stark man that's uh, married to the princess, is in control of old stones than the neck. That's where his family will control Old Stone, Sea Guards, and Green Fork for the rest of the life, pretty much. The, prince, uh, the princes of the Storm Kings will always control the River Run, and the king will always control that, and the Reach will just be random. I haven't really done much with that. Uh, Lannister is still pretty much the same marriage alliance as usual. Dawn is the marriage alliance to this princess here. And House Aaron is... I haven't actually married them. Oh, that, no, I have married someone to House Aaron, haven't I? Because the prince is married to a Aaron princess. So I have one marriage alliance with that, one marriage alliance with that, one marriage alliance with that. And it's not an official marriage alliance, but I do have a House Stark in my family tree. A Stark in my family tree. So if I have to take the North, he can hold the North for me. So the Storm Kings are pretty much really kicking ass right now. Uh, I wanted to leave off with me... Your orders, number one. Taking what's left of Dragonstone. God will be with us, men! To battle! Because a lot of people ask me whether or not the Targaryens are in Dragonstone, and the answer is kinda, kinda not. The portrait does have silver hair, and it is kind of a... Targaryen name, and he is the Lord of Dragonstone. The title to the Dragonstone is the legendary seat of Aegon Targaryen and the recently Stannis Baratheon. 
Uh, he doesn't have... Yeah, member of a royal house. But it doesn't say anything about Targaryen. He, he is obviously supposed to be a Targaryen. Uh, Eamon. But I think the duck put this here, ducks could put this here to like an easter egg, kind of like how Ramsay Stark is in the north, just for the hell of it, because I haven't read anywhere, I mean, this is like hundreds of years before Aegon the Conqueror even landed in Westeros, so I'm pretty sure there is no Targaryen activity around this period. But, uh, I figured we might as well play this out, and just give it a shot and end the Storm King playthrough with a bang. Because I haven't actually assaulted Dragonstone yet. We might get our ass kicked because some of the units, or pretty much every single one of the units is pretty, pretty badass and uh, I'm not entirely sure whether or not they're going to be even skinned. I know these uh, Storm Kings under the control of the AI to send like army after army after army to siege Dragonstone over and over again, getting their asses kicked constantly. So now obviously this is not a custom sound. Surprise, surprise. I mean, it's still technically speaking in the alpha build, so you're not really going to be getting any custom settlements until the main version's done. For anyone that's asking, yes, for the purposes of kicking some Targaryen ass, I did auto-create. I looked up in there for some uh, cheats to actually spawn units, and I spawned myself a giant army of indestructible dudes to fight the Targaryen forces. You never know, they could have a dragon in there, okay? We need to be seriously prepared. With their ladders. At least they went all out with it. They are some pretty hard to kill units, so. Maybe get our asses kicked. The battering ram is in place. It will not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. Battle is in our the, uh, favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, and, uh, and victory will be ours. Uh, it's pretty cool, actually. Our men have done well. Oh, the the gates. gates have fallen. Soldiers have uh, proved like their worth today. Course. The enemy's walls uh, belong to us now. God damn it, that kind of sucks. We'll look at the general to see if he's got any custom skin. Is that be fucking awesome? I doubt it. I don't think they went that far. Do it. Just 
for an Easter egg, but... They do still have the Targaryen shield. Ah, oh. ah, oh, you guys did nice fucking work. Now that deserves a round of applause, if not, if anything. It's even got a little dragon with three heads on top of it. Ha ha ha. Nah, that's pretty. That's that's very nice. Very well done, guys. Place this gypsy on the field of battle. As soon as he gets in the gates, anyway. Ah, but that that is just well done. <laughs>
This is it, people. The fight of the century. For the Stormlands! For the, for the, for the Danish! For the Danish! Only half the enemy force ah. remains. I mean the edible Danish, not the country. Not, not the people. Kill the Dragon King. Our lord, our men the have slain the enemy dead. general. Now his men will lose heart. <laughs> ah, that was totally worth doing it.
It's a good job the AI bought that is. Because I totally forgot about the second layer of this ship. Command of the castle! Praise the Almighty! Our enemy has yes, lost his stomach to fight! We must push our advantage! Christendom will be awed by the Which victory results? we have won here today. That was awesome, that was. So far, one of the best battles I've ever that answers any questions anyone had about Dragonstone. I Blessed Lord, we it. thank you for delivering us. God has delivered us this victory. Ah, oh, I want like a custom unit that you can build, like fucking called bloody uh, <laughs> like dragon or something. You can spawn a dragon and it just destroys every unit within 20 yards. <laughs> Have we overpowered Lord, yet awesome? Onto the ships. Full sails. Dropping anchor until morning. Alright guys, 
that's it for uh, for the Storm Kings. We have pretty much peace in the south and in the north. Uh, House Stark and the First Men are my vassals, they're under my control. We have blood alliances with Eren, Lannister, and Dawn. So, all's good in the world, I guess. Now to conquer the land to the east. <laughs> we must cross the narrow sea and kill them all. If only I could. If only, only I could. Soon. Soon, hopefully, when they put it into the game. Eventually. Maybe. One day. Next year. Maybe. Couple of, well, when I'm like 50. <laughs> anyway. Uh, whatever member of the team did the fucking skinning for the custom uh, Dragonstone thingy. Kudos. Awesome. Loved it. Pretty sure it's not actually supposed to be there with the Targaryens and Dragonstone. It's probably just an Easter egg, but it's an awesome Easter egg. It's worth going there just to kick that, just to see the fucking uh, custom armor and shit that he's got, and just kicking his ass. It's funny. <laughs> anyway, guys, it's been a blast. Uh, Storm Queens was actually pretty fun. I'm not sure who I'm going to play next. It will either be, it will be one of the three followings. It will either be Lannister. Gardener or or the Ironborn, maybe. I don't want to go back to the north just yet. I think I'm gonna leave Bolton to last. Um, I think I'm just gonna not bother with House Aaron because I've already done it, and really, you already. It's just pretty much the same thing again. With I I don't know. The the next house, actually, the next house after this. Will either be Yornwood, yeah, Yornwood Lannister, Gardener, or Ironborn. It will be one of, of those four. Probably Yornwood because I've already started recording the first couple of bits of it, so I'm that lazy. <laughs> anyway, guys, it's been a blast. Uh, there will not be an annotation in the top right hand side of your screen because this is the last part of the. Storm King's thing. I hope you enjoy this little thing that I stuck together at the end instead of just leaving it a giant cliffhanger. Quite a lot of people wanted to know what was, what was at Dragonstone. And I only had a... I only knew that there was a silver-haired general that was a re uh, rebel faction there. I did not know there was a own skin, and that's quite interesting and awesome at the same time, so that was quite fun. I shall see you guys in whatever house I'm doing next, I guess. Hope you enjoyed it. Soul out.